What's up, everybody? Thank you for joining me. Back for more Harken World. Let's get into it. We're now patrolling the East Road. Hey, mates, you work for the castle, right? My boss has been looking for some people to help us out. People like you. He wants to, how you call it, arrange a meeting in the grove of trees just to the north at the end of the road. I'm not sure this is a good idea. Yellow eyes peer from the shadows gathered under the forest eaves. A grin of fangs gives evidence of beast on the prowl. Ferocious wolves attack. Cast it. I think we're going to die. I think it's time to reload a previous save. Apparently the start is pretty brutal. Until we level up. Control to the east of the road. Wolves attack again. Hmm. That works. dead. Sleep wolves. All right, they're all sleeping. I'm still all asleep. 
sleeping. We can do this, dang it. If a warrior could hit a paladin. seems to be doing well. Right, we can't cast anymore. There we go. Oh, he's the bow user. What am I doing? Nice. Nice. We did it. We found a wolf pelt, received X8 XP. Not too shabby. Go back, go back, turn ye away from the road of misfortune. Only the promise of death and disease await if ye continue on this path. We are cursed. What is this curse you speak of? Pestilence and rot, all things fade away into dust. The curse is time and tragedy that we have enough, n not enough of it. And those who could reposition the pieces will only hasten our demise. Our earthly rivers falter even as our people drift and die. While the walls of gold entomb them, the, sores of s the souls of scorn divide. And one who is born into this world to remake everything a realm of fallow waste. Legend has it she came to him with a serpent's kiss as the eye of the sun rose upon her lips, at an altar never reached by the light. There they lay in dark embrace, and the seed was sown in that unholy place. Now all we can do is watch and wait for the dawn. You talking riddles. I'm supposed to be patrolling for goblins. An old covered well has been dug in the middle of the village, providing a source of water for both man and beast. It would take a nimble character to descend the depths of the well and secure the way for others. Alright, we're not going to descend into a well. Fresh corpse lies on the ground here. The villager looks to have been stricken less than a day ago. Will you give the man a proper burial? Faith compels me to act. You need a suitable tool in order to dig the grave. Alright, we need a shovel. Who are you? Where'd you come from? You're not carrying the plague, are you? You've traveled from Castle Harkenworld. Play do you speak of? Perhaps I can help. Fancy yourself a healer, do you? If you've passed through the witch light steading already, then you should know there is a sickness upon us. At least it seems to be constrained to the village only. I'm staying out here, living in the barn for ten days now, in order to escape the affliction. My animals were not so lucky. What can be done about this situation? Do you truly think you can help? If you truly want to be of service to the king, there are any number of problems that need to be dealt with. For starters, this plague is descended upon us. I'm not sure what you know about curing sickness. Maybe you could talk to some of the more important priests of Astaria. Also, as I mentioned, the chickens and pigs have all been wiped out. I'm not suggesting we bring in new animals at the moment, but I'm a loss of what to do once this affliction has passed. If I knew of a farmer to trade with, that would be helpful indeed. Finally, since you asked, there's a more immediate problem in the cornfield. Some crows have taken an interest in our crops. Nasty vultures, if you ask me. I've tried to shoo them away, but they keep coming back. We have a scarecrow, but it doesn't seem to be doing its job. If you could drive off the crows for good, I'd be right grateful for that. We met a farmer named Garrett in Castle Harkenworld. I wonder if he could help to re resettle the surrounding area once this dark cloud has passed. What you can ask him is that he knows a good place to bid on livestock. 
Soon I'll be able to trade crops with him as well. Could probably use an extra hand if he's inclined to travel here. It's worth mentioning next time we see him. Farewell. Where's the crops? Fearsome looking scarecrow is strung up here with tattered rags for clothes and straw like molting feathers from beneath the brim of his hat. A narrowly glowing light as if produced from twin candles is set within a skeletal head. That is sort of creepy. Okay, well where's these vultures? This abandoned stall laying a puddle of stagnant water, you find a pole with a sharp pointed end. This might come in handy. A spear. As you walk through the fence of corn stalks, you suddenly hear a piercing screech from above. The air seems to cackle with electricity. What will you do? Safer grounds, quick save. Stand and fight the oncoming birds. Ah, oh, shoot, someone's dead. Two people are dead. supposed to be here yet. I'm getting out of here. We're just supposed to patrol for goblins. On the east road. Arrows fly from the trees to the south. Cornered a squad of goblin hunters. Now you'll pay for this mischief. Why is everybody dead? Did we catch the affliction in that village? Walking through this village, you get sicker. Good gravy, this game is brutal. Let's pray for miracles. A potion, there's an altar. Pray for a miracle. Party safely rests till completely healed, bringing back at least presumably dead as well. Beautiful. Farewell. All right, not so brutal. Let's go get us some goblin hunters. Among the stand of trees, a strong sapling with silver bark. It looks like the wood is sturdy, but malleable enough it could be fashioned to a fine longbow. There was an archer in the party. Will you attempt to craft the weapon? None of us have the skill for such delicate craftsmanship. Yet, anyway. Uh, 
Ah, so you've joined, decided to join us and hear our proposition, but first let me introduce myself. I'm called Avum the Blade. These are my associates, Blarda. I believe you already met. Not very bright, but a disarming gentleman, wouldn't you agree? Behind me is Hal Fivecoins, our accountant. He's very serious about his work. Then there's Felix the Twig, growing in prowess every day with his quarterstaff. And finally, Gale Threadbeard, silent, diminutive, and very good with daggers. Together, we're part of an affiliation known as the Raven Roost, and we think the king has a little too much wealth, while commoners like us must suffer in the wild. This is where you come in. Perhaps we could pull off an inside job. You have access to the treasury? You know, spread the gold around a little, eh? No, I'm not interested. Then we'll relieve whatever you have right now. Get them. Once we level up, we can do this fight. <clears throat> I don't know, our party's been defeated, but definitely something possibly doable. Save from here. Then I saved. squares have different effects. And here's our battle. I will be right back. Alright, we're back. Where's the music? Get ourselves some goblin hunters. Why is everyone almost dead? What happened to my sound? Ah, oh, I don't mean to skip. Just have to do this without sound for now.
sleep goblins. Satisfying death sequence. Ah, oh, she died. Boom, from the shadows he attacked. four to attack and still hitting me. I wonder if there's a way to move the camera. Yes, the arrow keys. Flab it. Hmm. Start punching people. There we go. Ha! Huh. Nice. There's the sound back. Boom. We found an arrow, received 30 XP. bandits or with the goblins. Oh no, we can't pray for a miracle. Good. We're gonna have to reload a previous save again. The game's a bit of a brutal start, but apparently it gets easier once you level up. See, those arrows take some damage off of you. die.
She needs to cast heal on Lenzo. sleeping. We still miss. There we go. And the wizard gets a plus four attack, it seems. Cool. We did it. celebrate our victory, maybe level up. The blacksmith was not at the forge. What? Now that's a hell of a thing. There is no reason Barham wouldn't be at his station at this hour. I'll have to track him down and see what this is about. In the meantime, did you at least search the forge for some spare weapons and armor to take? Yes, there were some blades and leathers and a few other items. I am pleased that you still have the common sense to arms yourself. Shows initiative. You have your orders. Carry on, then. Prepare for a miracle. healthy we still have more goblins to slay I guess savage faces emerge from the trees with weapons drawn and murder in their eyes Satisfying death. Plus four attack for the wizard, Kalaroth. enemies I can get used to. Boom. Party found dagger, 15 XP. Anyone level up? XP 53 out of 225. Wow, it's going to take a while to level up. I 
that it for the goblins? for a miracle at the altar to rest up. I have watched and appraised you from afar, climbing through rocks, field, and fountain. So then, have you traversed the steep path just to find me? I wonder if you seek some hilltop wisdom, or merely wish to keep an old man company. Perhaps you would like to hear a tale. Of course, it'd be a privilege to pass some time with one who has been through so much in this world. You are most kind. Tell me, have you heard of the Cave of Venture? You see, I had a precious artifact stolen from me. It is the only memento I have of my daughter. An alabaster statue carved in her image. I lost her a long time ago, but I believe it has been hidden in that dreaded cave. Say no more. We'll recover this item for you, Rylos. Rest if you wish. Alright. Right now we kind of have to find goblins. Goblin swarm! That's a lot of goblins. Whoa. Whoa! Really? You're having me fight this many goblins? man Ugh. Is brutalizing me again. Ouch. good characters. Oh, Lanzo's dead? How in the world are we supposed to handle this? She can't cast it again? We lose. level up before this one. Man, this game is brutal.
Ahead of you opens a mist-shrouded cave entrance and sconce in the corner of these hills. An unearthly sensation seeps out of the depths, almost like a chill from beyond the grave. Will you descend underground? Yes. Frightful apparition haunts these halls. We best find another way around. The ghost casts you to another part of the map. This is disorientating. Disorienting. Beyond the door, you see in the center of the room rests a singular diamond. All of a sudden, the walls begin to close around you. What? Um. Yeah, this is a party reload. Too brutal for me. So I'm going to end this episode on this note. And go talk to Dorotine a little bit before coming back. And seeing if there's an easier way to handle this that I'm missing. Oh, I still need quick save after I met that dude. Oh, I didn't quick save after fighting these dudes? Uh. <clears throat> well, I'll do it again. Shadows missing against a sleeping target. I don't like that too much. Not sure why that's like that. Pretty fun game though. Just a little bit brutal. Maybe I didn't roll great stats. A game like this, you know, you have to roll your stats right. to hit anything. What are my thief stats anyway? 8 strength, 17 dexterity, so she needs a bow. And he needs, that's the problem. He needs a spear. Equip a bow? Thieves can't equip bows? Fighter Ranger. Oh, for a long bow. So I guess she's gonna have to equip a dagger. That's the problem, though. dead.
sweet, it's sleeping. Dead spider. 8 XP. Only 8 XP. Man swathed in tattered robes and bandages calls you from the forest. Have you gold coin to spare? Why not seek shelter in the castle? They will take care of your needs. I'm not looking for charity. The king and his nobles can feast at their table. All I want I have all I want out here. If you bring me a coin, I will share a secret with you. The most valuable thing your gold can purchase. We should deal cautiously. This one is more than he seems. Alright, I'll end the episode here and say thank you for joining me. In the next one, we'll continue exploring and I'll try to see if I can beat some of these encounters, so thanks for watching, peace out everybody.